Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at the new phone app, um, the Tesla phone app 411. There's a few undocumented changes. I don't know why Tesla don't tell you this, but they don't. Also, if you got the old app three, that's uh, three point or three point one or three of those, it's going to be switched off. So I'm going to tell you all about that at the end. So we're going to go through that, what you need to do, how you may have to change your phone, many other things. We're going to look at all of that and we're going to look at it right now. Mal's back talking Tesla. To see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. OK, so the first thing you're going to go into is the new app. Now we're going to run them side by side here. Okay, so when you go into the charge stats, there you have it. You can see now you've got on the left, you've got work. And on the right, you don't see work or any of that. So this is new. They've added this new addition in, which now makes a big difference because you can just use your work that is set on the navigation. And then if you have a charging, then you'll have the point and it'll put it in the system. So that's good, number one. The next thing that's changed, if you scroll down the bottom, on the left it says specs and warranty and on the right it says view details what happens now is the left now has changed for a full window and a full page and on the right it's only partial window what tesla has said now on the 31st of july only a couple of days away you're getting a message on the screen and it's telling you this users who are still running version 3 dot something or other of tesla app on the apple devices have recently begun reporting an in-app message that pops up when opening the tesla app on their phones the message indicates that tesla will no longer support the app after august the 31st 2022 it encourages users to update the app to the current version 4.11 which is what we're talking about now according to joel who was on Twitter, the app says mobile update is required. This mobile app version will no longer be supported after the 31st, 2022. Please update it to use the latest Tesla app. This could be due to Tesla depreciating certain security methods or other functions that they have transitioned from in their latest app revision. It could also signal that the, some major changes may be coming in the near future. While updating to the latest stable app version is always a good idea for the security patches that routinely come with the app updates. This particular depreciation process will exclude some iPhones that you may have. So I'm going to go through a list now of iPhones that you will, will work and with iOS 13 is what you're going to need. So in order to use Tesla Lakes app 4.11, one must possess a device that supports iOS 13 plus. According to Apple, iOS 13 is only compatible with the following phones, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, iPhone X, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone SE, iOS, iPad OS 13, also, also compatible with the 7th generation, iPod Touch, and a variety of iPod models. Although those may be less convenient due to the bigger size or Wi-Fi only connection, while Apple allows users to unload the most recent version of the app that is compatible with their operating system, it looks like Tesla may no longer allow users to sign into their three dot app. The number of iOS users using iPhone 6 and older devices to unlock their Teslas is likely to be low. Apple in June of 2022 estimated that 90% of Apple devices were running iOS 15 but it will still potentially exclude those devices. Update holdouts from unlocking their car. Although the Model 3 and Model Y do support a key fob, it does not come included with one. 
The changes in Tesla potentially short transition time could be an issue for some owners, for affected users. The best method to continue to have access to their cars would be to upgrade their device, but they can also consider using a third party Tesla app or buy a key prop for their vehicles as a temporary solution. Tesla 4 version of the app was released in August 2021 and offers many new features and improvements. Now the good thing with the Tesla key fob, I didn't know that if you take the battery out, which I've done, you can unlock the car with it. What? No battery and it works as a key card. I'm impressed, I really am. But you must make sure that you get the right Tesla. Um, on the bottom, it says Tesla. It doesn't say Model 3. If you get the one key fob that's got Model 3 on it, even though that is your Model 3 or Model Y, it won't actually have passive opening, so it won't work as you open the door like it does with your phone, and it won't work on the key pillar to open the car. So I'm going to demonstrate this because I couldn't believe it, right? I took the battery out this morning and I thought, no, rubbish, it's not going to work. Yes, it does. So let's show you it working. I tell you what, I was impressed. I've had this key fob now. I got it when I went to the States. I was doing a, an Aikido demonstration over there. And um, basically I went into the local Tesla branch over there because you couldn't buy them in the UK. And I purchased it. And unfortunately for me, I got the one that said Model 3. When I got it home, it didn't work. So it wouldn't unlock the door and it wouldn't do the key fob, obviously I didn't know about that. So what I did was I researched on the internet and it told me that the, the one that you have to have has to say Tesla on the bottom. So I told them in the branch, and they said, look, send it back and we'll send you a new one. I sent it back to them, posted it back, they sent me a new one. And of course I got the right one, which allows you to actually walk up to the car with it and unlock it in your Locks pocket. It. And also, the key fob Touch now it. you can unlock the door so let's do it let's, okay. let's let's do this right okay okay so we're gonna get the key fob put it in my pocket stick it in really deep okay so it's in my pocket i'm going to unlock and we're unlocked and that was all with the passive with no battery so without a battery even it will unlock the car and you can put it on a pillar as well so how good is that? It's amazing. I'm really impressed with that. You've only got a couple of days to get yourself sorted out. So unfortunately, I'm sorry it's so late telling you because I only found out <laughs> today. <laughs> it's an interesting one. Oh, and there's one other thing I didn't tell you about. You are getting now 20.22.20.7. And in that dot seven, Green gets into all of the software and he sees what goes on. He goes in depth. He says this about what you'll find hidden within the 20.7. Let's have a look at what he says. So the tweet is from Green, of Green the Only, four hours ago in fact. Wow, 2022.20.7 seems to go insane details to improve range predictions. Even tyre pressure is taken into account, amongst many other extra variables just added also takes into account the energy loss to phone charging and 12 volt accessories, air density and battery heat to cool. Well, I hope that's been informative to you. So now we know about what Green said. Don't forget on my community page, there's another thing happened this week. Tesla were in trouble with autopilot and the claim is that autopilot works as you know, it only works on motorways, it don't work on city streets. Not good enough for in Germany. Uh, they were taken to court and they were awarded because according to the fact they were misled and they didn't understand it but it didn't they thought it worked on city streets and it didn't but the good news for tesla is it's a one-off it isn't a precedent it won't mean that they have to pay everybody back that's how it is so it was just one off case and also in the community page if you've got alexa at home and you want to put alexa in your tesla then you need one of these now, I'm not going to tell you about it on this one, so I'm going to do a community video, which you will only be able to get details on the community video, and it will tell you exactly what this is, where you get it from, how much it costs, and how you can play your music. 
And not only that, can you work your house from it, if your house is controllable, so you can have your gates opening, you can have everything you like, or whatever it does that controls, it will actually play your music. So you get Amazon Prime Music, if you're connected to that, which you probably are, then you'll get that. And also, you'll get the radio stations. And sometimes, at the moment, I don't know if you found this, but when you're listening to the radio station, the reception isn't that good, and it shuts in, it goes, cuts out. If your phone system's good, and you've got the Alexa working on this, you get great music, and it sounds perfect. And so it's another format that you can enjoy. Anyway, I'll give you full details on the community page. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what app you're on. If you're struggling with the app and you've got point three, I may be able to come up with a solution for you for other things that you might need um, that might help you. So reach out to me if there's anything you need and I'll always answer you and, and get back to you. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching Mal's Back Talking Tesla. You've joined over a thousand followers worldwide. So don't miss out on the fun. Subscribe now. It's free.